The most evil celebrities. Let's see who they are. The life of celebrity and fame is a life most people fight and yearn for. The thought yeah. of having all the money you need to buy whatever you want. The thought of you being a talking point all the time. It's a tantalizing experience for most. But to mm -hmm. get there, you gotta get through the iron wall of people that already made it. And those people at the top are <laughs> always the scariest. And you probably yeah. all thought I'ma start with Diddy because that's an obvious one and I'm actually not gonna mm. cover him. I mean, we all know about the diddler's actions and, and the top has been beat to death to be honest so i want to yeah. shake it up and start with another sean a sean who has just as much power as diddy. a sean who is the exact same age as diddy a sean whose career got carried by my one and only go what you yeah. thought i was gonna go a video without glazing kanye jay-z we love now, kanye how exactly is jay-z scary well for one with jay-z he's ugly as <laughs> like how did a man who looks like the human embodiment of a cockroach somehow pull Beyonce? Beyonce. Mm. I heard he pulled her when she was still underage. That's what I heard. That's what's going around the city lately. That that Jay Z was messing with these these celebrity women when they was young. That's what I heard. I know y'all heard it, bro. Don't be acting like I'm tripping in the comments below. I know y'all heard that. Shit. How did a man who looks like the human embodiment of a cockroach somehow pull Beyonce? And their age gap is absolutely egregious too. See? 11 years? For reference, 11 years ago, I was 10 years old recording videos of me playing Roblox. And the worst part is that they started dating in 2001, so she was 20 years old and mm. he was 32. Damn, God. <laughs> That's such a crazy age difference. 32 and 20 years old. She's a fresh adult. What do y'all have in common? You know what I'm saying? That's some... That's an interesting sh right there. She was 20 years old and he was 32. Uh, look, all right. Usually I am of the caliber that so long as it's consensual, whatever for it. But certain ages just don't mix and mash with each other. And it, it, this is one of them. I feel like the more rich Jay-Z got, the more evil his aura started to become. Like ever since I, I was a kid, people were making Illuminati conspiracy theories on him. Conspiracy theories used to be going crazy on YouTube in the 2010s. Yeah. And also ever since I was was a kid he was always just known to be the richest rapper alive throw up the rock throw up the rock bro i used to see that all the time every time he throws up the rock he's really illuminati don't clip me and don't say i'm illuminati i'm just saying y'all remember that and then y'all know the umbrella ella a by rihanna i've seen so many conspiracy theories about that video back in those times i used to scare myself to death looking at them illuminati videos i know so much that i shouldn't know i wish i would never have looked into those videos at all i don't look at none of my favorite artists the same no more anytime i see this 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 i'm already thinking they are they signed their life away ever since i was a kid he was always just known to be the richest rapper alive and this man just like diddy has the power to blacklist any artist at the click of a button his record right. label rock nation has signed some of the biggest people y'all might have not think even known are under it. Rihanna, J. Cole, mm -hmm. Alicia Keys, mm -hmm. DJ Khaled, Lil Uzi. I mean, See? this man is... And y'all gotta think, if J. Cole is up there and J. Cole has people signed to him, Jay-Z indirectly signed them people too. Mm. So just think about how many people he really got under his belt. DJ Khaled, Lil Uzi. I mean, this man is so powerful, he has the choice to pick who performs at the Super Bowl. One of the yeah. biggest performances in the world for any artist. And apparently it was only supposed to be for five years because the deal he signed with the NFL was in 2019. But they extended the contract recently to an unknown amount of time of him being able to pick who performs. So who knows how long this man is going to have the power to control the Super Bowl? What if he picks someone to perform like Tom McDonald? He would never. KSI? He would never. Like he would never in his life pick Tom McDonald. Never. He would never do that. <laughs> Don't have that fear, Tommy and FG. I promise you, it will never happen. Not in this multiverse or the next. I promise you, bro. That's one thing you don't got to worry about. <laughs> What if he picks someone to perform like Tom McDonald or KSI? We just got no say in it and gotta let it happen. Oh hell no, nah. this man's power. It's a community. It's check. a committee. If you're it's an a committee. artist and get on Jay Z's bad side, he could literally stop you from performing at the biggest event of your career. There's even rumors for the upcoming Super Bowl performance that Jay Z picked Kendrick to perform instead My of Lil Wayne because he has beef with Drake and Nicki Minaj and some other people associated with Lil Wayne. Let's go ahead and just you know conquer this topic right now. Lil Wayne is a bad performer. I love Wayne. I know a lot of Wayne songs by heart. Lil Wayne makes great music, but lately he been forgetting his lyrics. He sucks at performing. He's not, he don't have the same work ethic that he used to have. Now back in the day, 2009, 2008, 2010, 
I can see Wayne being the headline for the Super Bowl. But right now, ain't nobody checking for Wayne like that. He dropped three albums since the Carter Five, and I didn't even fucking know. I love you, Wayne. I don't want I don't want you to take this the wrong way. But right now, you're not the man for the job. Your legacy is intact. Shut the fuck up about the Super Bowl, though. You didn't get it. It's unfortunate. Things happen. You're still a legend. We love you. You got your flowers. Everybody knows who you are. You are one of the greatest rappers of all time. You birthed a lot of these niggas. But you did not get the Super Bowl. Let that shit go. Let it go, my boy. Which was crazy because everyone was thinking, well, of course Lil Wayne's gonna perform. The Super Bowl is in Lil Wayne's hometown, so I didn't it would so. make sense for him to perform there. But Jay-Z completely <laughs> cooked him potentially because he got a beef. And there's just a lot of weird clips of Jay-Z being controlling over a lot of people. Really? Like, there's this one infamous clip of Rihanna talking about how she got signed. And you guys tell me, uh... If this is just a peachy friendly negotiation between Let me see. two people. I did a lot of work on you this lady. He said, um, there are two ways to leave here. Either through the door with the deal sign or through this window. And we're on the 29th floor. Keep in mind, she, she was 16 that? at the time. Like, what grown ass? man says this to a teenager even if we assume it's a joke that's got to be the worst time to make a joke it feels uh, like one of those jokes that's supposed to be a joke but in reality it's actually not for the person saying it and they boss. just say it in a joking way and kanye of course is gonna speak about whatever's on his mind and he's accused jay-z of trying to take him out which would be real f up if true like this man basically produced his whole career jay-z would be working the fry shift if it wasn't for him and now uh, recently i don't know about that jay-z was still that n before kanye came around kanye just made him that n for real if you ask me they needed each other i'm pretty sure kanye produced the blueprint and that's like one of his most acclaimed albums without kanye jay-z wouldn't be in the position he is now i can't say truthfully he'd be working at a fast food restaurant if it wasn't for kanye jay-z would be working the fry shift if it wasn't for him and now recently on tiktok there's been rumors that Beyonce is controlling the music industry and he's involved with it too. People mm -hmm. are showing compilations of whenever an artist wins an award randomly, they decide to thank Beyonce. Even if they're not in the same music genre, they decide <laughs> really? to, which makes it even weirder. Like, why is country yeah, artists Beyonce. thanking Beyonce? Yeah, so the rumor is that Jay-Z has so much power over really? people's music careers. The artist thanks Beyonce just to stay in his good graces. Or the more harsher that's, theory is that she's literally smart. making them say thank you to not get blackballed. Ever since she got robbed of the vmas things have been a little bit different lately people be giving her flowers a little too much i'm not saying it's too much i did say it was too much but they've been giving her her flowers a little a lot lately you know what i'm saying i just feel like they all saying thank you because she lost that single ladies video to taylor swift yo taylor I, i'm really happy for you i'm gonna let you finish but Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. I feel like everybody's just like, you know, we deserve to give you your flowers every time an award comes up. So thank you, Beyonce, for taking that one L. You made all of us get W's. That's why they really saying it, right? You know, I'm just trying to, you know, play devil's advocate here. I might look stupid as I don't know. And I just want to say while this video is still going on, I want to thank Beyonce. Not just for being an inspiration to me but to the whole world. Her music has elevated beyond what the human mind can comprehend and it's great to- <laughs> Glaze. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna sign for millions now. Usually I don't believe conspiracy theories on TikTok and whatnot. That's just for YouTube. But it is very odd how many artists have randomly thanked Beyonce. So hopefully Jay-Z doesn't block this video because once again, I wanna thank Beyonce for not just- Okay, anyways, next is Dan <laughs> Schneider, shocker. It's crazy how this man built children's entertainment to its heights, then crumbled it all by himself. Now I already yeah. talked about Dan Schneider in my predator video so there, there's not much to say there but i sure feel bad for all the child stars that had their career relying on this man i could only imagine how scary it would be to speak up against him because this man could blacklist your career in all of child entertainment like yeah. dan schneider was literally child entertainment bro he had control over damn near everything and i know that nda was going crazy i wouldn't be surprised if he gave lifelong ndas even in the book jeanette mccurdy made talking about her experiences as a child star she only refer to him in the book as the creator like she still couldn't use his name to expose him and it's been more than a decade since they worked with each other also i genuinely don't know a single soul who was laughing at these feet jokes in these shows like uh, did any of y'all find them funny uh, nah i don't have a memory laughing at them once i know a lot of people with foot fetishes though but me personally i don't like feet i don't like feet pictures i don't like feet near me i don't like feet touching me i don't understand the foot fetish thing that's going on looking at it now and knowing how much people 
people like feet yeah dan schneider was definitely doing some weird shit, bro it's no way to hide it anymore i've seen all i needed to see at first i was like ah but now it's like yeah he was a weirdo he definitely was doing some weird shit on them shows and the fact that nickelodeon dropped him without giving any official statement makes me think they had some deep on him that the public didn't already have he worked with them mm. for 20 years it wasn't like he was a nobody there this man was the reason why they even stayed relevant for years you notice yeah. that ever since he got fired the whole network is just completely dead like yeah. if dan never did any weird there might have still been a chance that nickelodeon could have recovered i wouldn't be surprised if a uh. new story came out any day now accusing him of having cp on a hard drive and nickelodeon hiding it next we got tom cruise no now, that's my goal that's my goal believe you go you gonna talk about the scientology thing and him not really being in his daughter's life that's all rumors it's all rumors man you can't believe everything you see on the internet tommy please don't talk about my guy tom cruise bro they think i'm tom cruise but really i'm bobby with that too come on bro i think that i'm tom cruise I might be the only black person in the world that likes Tom Cruise. I didn't think he was gonna talk about my gold Thomas Cruise like that, bro. I really enjoy a lot of Tom Cruise movies. Glodian hiding it. Next we got Tom Cruise. Now believe it or not, y'all, I've never watched a Tom Cruise movie. Tommy! Tommy! What do you mean? Tom, you've never watched Mission Impossible? Not one of them? You never watched Jack Reacher? What? What do you mean you've never seen a Tom Cruise movie? Collateral? He has so many movies. You ain't never seen Top Gun Maverick? That movie is really good. I'm not gonna lie. We gotta get in Discord. I, I gotta sit there and force you to watch Tom Cruise, bro. Now, I'm not saying it's gonna be torture or nothing, but I just I just gotta see you do it. Believe it or not, y'all, I've never watched a Tom Cruise movie. But there is one thing everyone knows about Tom Cruise without even having to watch one of his movies. His own he stunts. He brought Scientology to oh. an unimaginable degree. Yeah, like, he does. The amount of money he must be getting from them has to be more than any role he could get. In any interview at any moment he's gleeful and excited to bring it up and talk about it. his eyes lit up like a crackhead who just found some free crystal on the ground and Scientology for y'all that don't know is a cult that they try to say is a religion where you're basically devoted to give all your money to them no matter the problems in your life and can never leave and you would think people like celebrities who are already financially well off wouldn't fall for something stupid like this but there's a whole ass list of big celebs who are in it now some let me look at this list real quick hmm. I don't all these names on this list the only one i recognize is tom cruise i don't know who the f all these other people are now some have managed to leave but but there's still a sizable amount in it tom cruise is into scientology so much he's literally a speaker for them at their events it's not hard to see how this can become a problem because one of his fans might think it's cool to join because tom cruise is in it and then end up getting brainwashed and stuck in it and you can't technically leave but uh they they do like to typically spy on people who leave finding their Why? address going through their mail and and watching them at work that's honestly, scary that's the main reason i added him in this video i really don't know else about him i feel like if he just catches me in the eyes and starts yapping about scientology i'll have no escape i'll just be putting a scientology spell and be forced to give all my money to them till the end of time and last we got chris jenner chris jenner is what we call the clan leader of the kardashians not to be confused with another clan but i've heard they have similarities this woman is single-handedly <laughs> in charge of boosting the career of all of her kids our first hint of her is she the one that allowed kim to have that tape with ray j that was her her idea right i'm pretty sure that's right our first hint of her evilness is the amount of pics she got with diddy i feel like that's a good assessment to tell how evil a celeb is based on how many diddy pics they have and as you can see of me, i have zero pics with diddy pop up i told you guys i was a good guy chris hmm. jenner runs her family like a degenerate businessman the biggest rumor is that she was involved in leaking the naughty tape of her daughter it starts off as kim k makes the tape with ray j and for the kids that don't know ray j or maybe even about this incident you know those earbuds raycon that youtubers get sponsored in every video yeah he made those <laughs> anyways chris jenner helps him and that's her. all that's all you know about him he has done way more than that he's an artist he has some songs do i know the song's name no and he was on love and hip-hop or one of them reality shows he's not just that person that made the earbuds that's a crazy way to downplay his legacy whatever legacy that is anyways chris jenner helps him and her make up a contract to sell the tape off then the tape drops and everyone goes crazy over what's happening 
and the tape coincidentally drops a couple months before their show keeping up with the kardashians drops the show that made them famous like without this show we would literally not know them the only other link to fame they had was that her father was oj's lawyer so the rumor is that chris jenner used all the publicity from kim's tape to make her family famous as a business person it's smart as a that human clapping. being what the f there is no amount of money you could make me ever do this with my kid f all the money she basically out her daughter to make her famous and the worst part is that she blamed ray j for leaking it which ruined his career but then he leaked the contract of it and it turned out that they both agreed to release it i swear the wait a second let me see that text message it says so don't come at me when your manager put this footage out and was leaking clips to get pressed i didn't start this release it i swear the kardashians just Ooh. love destroying black men's careers i'm Ooh. telling y'all this family is demonic hoping to see the official fall off by 2025 and then there's also kylie who was in a a public relationship with Tyga when she was 16 and Bye. he was 24. <laughs> you tell me the mom just didn't know when she was so. Oh my gosh, Drake was cooking. Drake was cooking. He said that at your age and not your girl's age because she's young as fuck. In the industry, how do we how, how do we allow this to happen? 24. <laughs> you tell me the mom just didn't know when she was so obtuse that this was happening. And I guarantee she thought since it was making them more famous, she might as well keep it going on. So yeah, short video, I know, but we're we're gonna end it off right there. Maybe I'll do a part two in the future. Follow me I on bet. Twitter. Or if y'all wanna see more Tommy NFG stuff, let me know in the comments below. Check them out. Link in the description. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching.